and uh, Columbia Huntsville for Scott. Um, if you haven't adjusted the 35-millimeter uh, interferometer yet, uh, you could adjust that to two seconds. Um, if you've already uh, passed that step, uh, that's no problem, and you can proceed. Okay. Uh, we'll go to two seconds on the interferometer. It's no problem. Just take a couple seconds to reset it. And is uh, sample seven looks like a different material than the last one. And uh, Columbia for Scott, uh, that should be the uh, same type of material. Okay, is it thicker or is it, because it looks like it might be a little thicker? Uh, no, it, it, it seems like it appears that way, but it should be the same thickness. Okay, and uh, we modified the thermocouples, as you said. And uh, we'll modify the camera settings, and it'll be a few more minutes before we finish setting up. Okay, copy that, Scott. Um, that uh, camera uh, was something that uh, they noticed in their last data run. Okay, thanks. About uh, 17 minutes away from Columbia's first encounters with the atmosphere, that occurring in an altitude of about 75 miles above the Pacific Ocean to the north of the Hawaiian Islands. A flight Dynamics Officer here in Mission Control, Richard Jones, uh, continuing to discuss uh, runway options and uh, approach for Columbia, uh, the best possible approach for the shuttle landing facility. Columbia currently targeted toward a landing on Kennedy Space Center runway 33, end of the shuttle landing facility runway. Uh, discussion uh, as to whether or not that, that may be switched to runway 15, uh, that the decision expected uh, as Columbia continues its descent. There's no issue with making that decision uh, as Columbia is descending. Uh, that's been done uh, during previous shuttle entries as well. Columbia's altitude now 71 statute miles as it uh, enters Earth's atmosphere above the Pacific Ocean en route to, to the Kennedy Space Center. Its speed uh, 17,000 miles per hour. Columbia with wings level and nose angled up about 40 degrees to control heating as it descends into the atmosphere. Its altitude now 68 miles. As uh, Columbia descends into the atmosphere and approaches the continental United States, it will perform the first in a series of four banks it performs as it approaches the Kennedy Space Center. The first bank to the right, then back to the left, then back to the right, and then a final bank to the left as it approaches Kennedy and the shuttle landing facility runway. Those designed to dissipate speed for the shuttle as it descends into the atmosphere toward landing. Just under 30 minutes to touchdown for Columbia now. Altitude 64 miles. Columbia speed 16,620 miles per hour. Range to touchdown at the Kennedy Space Center runway, 3,450 statute miles. Columbia in almost an 80 degree bank to the right uh, to dissipate speed. The first of four banks it performs as it uh, approaches Florida to slow down as it descends. Altitude now. 47 miles, or about 248,000 feet. The shuttle speed is 16,400 miles per hour. Aboard the shuttle on the flight deck are Commander Rick Husband and Pilot Willie McCool, Flight Engineer Kapana Chavla, and uh, Mission Specialist Laurel Clark. On the lower deck of the shuttle for entry are Payload Commander Mike Anderson, Mission Specialist David Brown, and Payload Specialist from the Israel Space Agency, Alon Ramon. Shuttle's altitude now 45 miles, speed 15,800 miles per hour, 
Continuing in a right bank with wings angled 70 degrees, the first of four banks it performs to dissipate speed as it approaches landing. Columbia crossing uh, the California coast, again uh, just to the north of the San Francisco area. Its course will take it across uh, Sacramento, California. Columbia continuing uh, toward Florida, now approaching the New Mexico, Texas. Shuttle veteran, also a beer veteran, retired astronaut as well. Um, Jerry, what, what are your thoughts as you look at this uh, scene and, and what might be going on right now for NASA, for the professionals, for search and rescue? Well, it's, you know, it's a horrible thing, and um, uh, I'm sure they're just trying to put the parts together and try to reconstruct things so it never happens again. Um, you know, you got to get to the root of what happened there. Yeah. What... Um we were just talking to Norm about this this concept that the most dangerous period of time is the first eight and a half minutes of the mission, the point where the, the rockets are firing and uh, all the things are exploding behind you. Uh, how much, how many scenarios uh, do the crews and their simulations run through on reentry? Yeah, just you know, in, I don't want to say infinite, but I mean you train and you train and you train. Um, but I can tell you, reentry, um, you know, the normal reentry kind of sounds like a locomotive train coming up behind you. Very dynamic. You're inside a fireball, plasma collapsing around you. Um, it's like the worst turbulence you've ever been on in an airplane. So it is very dynamic. And if you lose your orientation in space and the tiles aren't pointing in the right direction, um, you know, you get what you're seeing here today. On the 1st of February 2003, Columbia began its descent back to Earth. As the shuttle raced over the Pacific towards the US, the crew put on their suits, preparing themselves for a routine landing. It was now 8.40 a.m. and these are pictures of their last moments alive. Lowell, do you need help? I think I'm almost. Okay. After you get yours, then I'll get mine. You can hear it quick, but... Actually, it's a really no, I'm done. Okay. Can I give this to you? I'm, I, I, already, I don't have that bag anymore. Okay, then don't worry. Yeah. I, can, uh, I can go tape it up here if you want. That's a good idea. Are you ready for the camera, Laura, you said? Oh, uh, one minute. Okay, no rush. Yep, plenty of time. You see, I've got another thing to populate your... Alright. I got it, really. Oh, I just turned. 
and see what you have there. There. <laughs> Let's see what we have there. Yeah, great taping, you can just give it to us. Okay, I am going to have to give this to Laura when she is done. I'm yeah. going to say to it behind, I mean, a uh, real quick behind the seat. I think this is light enough that it will stay. Well, we see lots of jets firing. I, I, I'm getting the jets firing. I'm trying to see if I can get an overhead window view yet. Okay. That's all I can do is three and a half bags out of four, so that'll work. If I could pass that back to you. Would you hold just one second? I want to get to my gloves before G's build. I want to get to that. Certainly. There's all kinds of... Okay. Just sure. We'll just pass the EI. Okay. I have my gloves. We've got jets firing in the back, I guess. And, Dirk, I'll take your bag. And float it aft gently. I got it. That might be uh, some plasma now. Think so, already? Yeah, uh, the jets are not firing right now. Uh, it was quite a bit, actually. Yeah, we see it out the front also. That's some plasma. Tell me when there's good stuff out front, I'm filming overhead right now. That's uh, kind of dull. Oh, it'll be obvious when the time comes. Well, really, I guess I could give you the camera to put out the front window. Here, let's, uh, no, let's don't do that. Okay, okay. Let's just, uh, let's go ahead and make sure you check your suit pressure integrity, too. All right. And come check on the intercom with the uh, visors down. CDR. ELT. Yes, one. MS one. I don't have my gloves on yet. Yes. But oh, MS two. Oh, all right, good enough. So we're gonna leave visors down now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, just check your seat. Okay. Sure. Then I'm gonna go back off. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Good, good enough. We'll see. We'll check one other thing.
that back. Go ahead, Max. FYI, I've just lost four separate temperature transducers on the left side of the vehicle, the hydraulic return temperatures. Four hide return temps? To the left outboard and left inboard Elevon. And Columbia, Houston, we see your tire pressure copy. messages, and we did not copy your last. Is it instrumentation, Max? Uh, flight Max, those yeah. are also all off. Yeah, off yeah, okay. Columbia, Houston, com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF, com check. GC flight. GC flight. Fly GC. Lock the doors. Copy. Thirty-eight miles above ground, the space shuttle had exploded. All seven on board were killed. <laughs>